Unusual encounter today between two state lawmakers and things got, you could say, touchy during a committee hearing. Legal editor Julie Grant has the video and what both these lawmakers are saying about the encounter tonight. Julie. Ken and Susan, good evening to you both. It was a touch on the arm that triggered a very odd exchange between Republican Representative Daryl Metcalf of Cranberry and Democratic Representative Matt Bradford from Norristown. When Bradford touches Metcalf's arm, he calls him out in front of everybody for doing it and then reminds him that he is straight. There is a better way to do this, guys. We don't have to proceed on this one. I, I hear you. I understand. There's some hard feelings with Penn. Representative Bradford, yeah. just look, I'm a heterosexual. I have a wife. I love my wife. I don't like men as you might, but don't stop touching me all the time. <laughs> so I keep your hands to yourself. Like, if you want to touch somebody, you have people on your side of the aisle that might like it. I don't. Representative Matt Bradford was clearly taken Chairman, aback Chairman. at the chastising from Chairman. committee chair Daryl Metcalf. Chairman, Chairman. <laughs> Chair. <laughs> Okay, we're officially off the rails. So let me throw out a, a, a simple idea. I, my, my intent was just to, to beg for your permission for about 30 seconds. Then beg, uh, don't uh, touch. Uh, As Bradford and others were laughing, Metcalf wasn't amused, saying he's told Bradford before to keep his hands to himself. I don't think people understand how serious it is when somebody says to someone, Stop invading my personal space. Stop touching me. The video speaks for itself. I mean, literally, we're, we're going back and forth in a hearing. It, it obviously, it's often a contentious uh, committee, and I, I'm trying to get them to pull, let, actually to let me finish my sentence. The strange exchange was enough to stop the meeting. I, I don't know where we go from here, really. Uh, let me make a suggestion uh, that we do a motion to postpone. Uh, till our next uh, regularly called meeting of the state government committee. Most troubling for Bradford was what seemed like criticism of homosexuality among those on the left. Clearly there were some issues uh, in terms of homophobia and just the, the whole thing was, was pretty nasty. But Metcalf stands by his comments saying his heterosexuality is simply the truth. I thought he needed something a little bit stronger that uh, brought his attention to it and the attention of others around and, I, and this has certainly done it. Metcalf has long opposed what he calls the homosexual agenda because it contradicts his religious beliefs. Now, according to their official bios, Bradford is married with four children and Metcalf is married with one child. We are told that Speaker Mike Terzai was made aware of the incident. Susan.